There's a lot of things that are uncertain right now. Sometimes I can feel nervous or scared not knowing what the future will hold. But that's why it's so important that I remember and that you remember that some things will never, ever change. God keeps his promises. He is always in control. His will never fails. And God will always love you. No matter how good or bad you feel, no matter what great things you've done or what hurtful things you've done. Which reminds me of a story that Jesus told about two brothers and their dad who loved them both so much. Their family had a lot of money, a big house, lots of land, but the younger son was selfish and he demanded his share of the family's money. And then he packed up his stuff and went to the city to party it up. Before he knew it, his money was gone and he couldn't find food anywhere. He was hungry and probably scared. He decided to go back home and beg his dad's forgiveness and ask his dad to hire him as a servant. As he was walking back to his family's house, still pretty far away, his dad saw him, picked up his robes and sprinted to him. He bear hugged him and kissed him all over his head. And when the son tried to apologize and beg for a job, the dad could barely hear him before he started to throw a party with gifts and music and barbecue. All because he was so happy to have his son back home. But the older son was mad. He couldn't understand why his dad would be so excited about his little brother's return who had been hurtful and selfish when he had been obedient and respectful. He had obeyed every rule, worked so hard, honored his dad. The father explains that he loves both of his sons, not because of their behavior, but because of who they are. They are his kids. The father simply wanted to have his sons home with him and wanted to celebrate that. God wants you home in relationship with him. In fact, he wants you so badly that he sent his son Jesus to earth to die on a cross just so that he could be close to you again. That's how much he loves you. Not because of your behavior, the good things and the bad things you've done. Just because he loves you. You don't have to be smart enough, nice enough, have enough money, the biggest house. You don't have to be perfect or have the best life. God will always love you and bear hug you when you come back to him. You can't change that amazing truth. Maybe you're listening to this and you wanna be closer to God. Maybe you've never known Jesus as your friend, never asked him uh, to save you from your sins and, and guide you in your life. Guess what? This morning you can. God would love to have you closer to him. He can't wait. If you want to ask Jesus to be your savior from sin and you want to know him better, close your eyes and repeat after me. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Please forgive me for the things that have made you sad. I want to know you better. I want to be more like you. 
I give my life to you today. Amen. Today we learn that God will always, always, always love us. He is crazy about us. And there's nothing that we can do to change that. His love is permanent. All God asks is that we stay close to Him. Remember that no matter what crazy things happen in our world, that amazing truth will never change. Thanks for watching. Let's review the memory verse. We should be glad and celebrate. Your brother was dead, but he is now alive. He was lost and has now been found. Luke 15, 32, everyone together. 